In this video, I'll be showing you how to add a background image to Desmos, as well as to add images that you'll put in the foreground that you're later going to animate. So the first thing you want to do is look for a background. It could be an image you already have, or it could be something that you can just look for. So I'm going to look up um, just a beach background, and I want to look up something where I can place objects in it, and then I can then animate those objects uh, as I see fit. So you want to try to stay away from maybe a scenery that has a lot of objects in it already. Try to find like a blank landscape. So if I search specifically like beef, beach landscape images, um, here's a decent one right here. And you want to save that image. So you right click, don't save the link, save the image as. And you can put that into whatever folder you see fit. I'm going to put all of mine in my downloads folder just so I know where they all are and name it something appropriate. So I'm going to call this beach landscapes then you save that image and then you go to your desmos i'm going to get these out of the way and the way you insert an image is you go to add the little plus sign here go to image and then you just simply select the image you just uh, put in and there we have our beach landscape now i'm going to put an image preferably one with a transparent background but before i do one little tip you don't have to do uh, Keep everything in the standard window and kind of extend your image so that's in this like it covers up everything. And there will be a reason later, but if you have your your image going from negative 10 to 10, it makes certain things, um, it just make, gives it a nice size and it makes certain things easier later. So there's my image. Um, if I'd let it take up the full screen, but I'm going to put an a image of the foreground. now. Now, let's say I want to put a Barbie pool in there. Well, there's going to be a problem with this image. So you don't have to do, um, you don't have to go through the work of wondering if it's a good image, but if it's a JPEG, that's a good example of the fact uh, of an image that you really don't want to use. So again, I'm going to put this in a downloads folder. And in fact, I already have this uh, saved somewhere. So I'm going to put this for Barbie pool. I'll just name it Barbie pool too, so I can show you of an example of what not to do. Um, and then two ways to avoid the mistakes you'll get. So I go to add this image which is called Barbie Pool 2. And here's the problem with this image, especially if it's a foreground image. If it's a background image, it's kind of okay, but I don't like this white space. So, I mean, obviously you wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense to animate this thing, um, but we wanna like, if you're gonna use that, you would take the background out. I'll make a separate video that shows you how to do that. But you wanna pick images that have um, the background transparent. So the kind of things you wanna search for are whatever object you want, and then transparent background, or you might want to include the words PNG. Um, not just PNG images, but also GIF images have transparent backgrounds. The problem with GIFs is that it'll only capture the first frame. Um, but here's how you, you make sure that you have the right image. If I go to right click and I go to save this, notice how it has that checkerboard pattern. That's a good indicator that it's a PNG. And I see right here, that's a PNG file. So this is going to be, this Barbie PNG is going to be a good file to use um, because it'll have a, have a transparent background so that if I animate it, it won't have that ugly white box around it like we had in the um, previous file. So if you notice, if I insert this, instead of having the white box around it, like inside the box, you can see the sky background and we can resize that however you want. I can make her, um, you know, skate across the water if I want to. But as far as selecting images, background image, it can be a JPEG. It could be anything that's fine for your background image. For your foreground images, JPEGs are bad because they have this white background. PNGs are good because you can see through them. And most importantly, make sure that your background is listed first. Because notice how if I put the Barbie picture in equation one and the background in equation two, it hides it. So you want to keep them in the right order so that... Uh, the foreground images appear in front, so put them before your background. That's it for inserting.